Hey everyone. Welcome back. What if I tell you that you can change your depth of field focus after rendering the image so that you don't have to go back to the program and change the focus and then render it again. Would it not be so cool? So let's see how we can achieve that. First we exist the camera or completely turn off the depth of field. Then we have to enable the scene depth. Remember white area represent the foreground and black area represent background. So we will flip this render image in Photoshop. Let's render this depth map. And don't move the camera at all. Next we render the lit image and then bring both of them in Photoshop. Now we are in Photoshop. I have opened both of the images. Let's do some changes in the depth map. First thing first we have to invert this image. If you do remember I told you that white area represent the foreground and black area represent background. So let's flip it. And I am also going to use curves to get more contrast between these two colors. Now select the whole image and copy it. Let's go back to the lit image and switch to its channels. Create a new layer and this layer will be alpha channel. And paste it here. Let's flatten the image and go to filters. Blur. And lens blur. Program already selected the alpha channel if not. You can select the alpha channel from here. Increasing the blur radius will increase the depth of field intensity which represent the f-stops. To focus on any area click right mouse button. And here we go. We have achieved the indestructible depth of field. Now we can play with it according to our need at any time. I hope you liked the video if you do so like share and subscribe to the channel for more video like these. And I'll see you in the next video.